I'm uh, Professor Ahmed Al Masri from Alexandria University, Egypt. I'm working at the university and in a private clinic. The modern cataract surgery always aims for multifocality. Patients are highly demanding. They want to read, they want to see their computers, and to want to see the distance vision and without glasses. And the extended depth of focus IOLs already provided these advantage for those people. But still some drawbacks because these patients usually complain of the halos around light and the star bursts. So these lenses are good lenses, but they didn't feel the full need of those patients. The extended depth of focus IOLs and the trifocal IOLs, both of them, they have different technologies. The trifocal IOLs, they are designed to have two designs, two curves over each other. One for the distance and near, near and the other is for the distance and the intermediate. So the trifocal IOL gives better near vision. The extended depth of focus IOL gives better distant vision. The waxy vision that uh, the patient complains of the multifocal IOL had been disappeared in both of them. The, um, these lenses are giving very promising results for patients now and actually they are on, ongoing and the uh, patients need to improve also the lenses to have better visual acuity at the night vision because of the night driving and the distance intermediate and near. Uh, the age of the patient, if the patient is relatively of young age, just above 40, 40, 50, and the clarity of the lens. When the lens is clear, we prefer to put the extended depth of focus IOL because it doesn't change the chromatic aberrations or the colors at, ni at night and at daytime. On the other hand, the patients with cataract, we prefer to put for them the trifocal because they usually aim to read without glasses. The extended depth of focus patients, we always tell them that there's a chance of 5% that you are gonna wear glasses in the uh, future after doing the surgery. On the other hand, the trifocals, we are choosing them if they do not drive at night. So the, to choose the patient, uh, the patient's counseling is very important for these multifocal IOLs in general. Um, there is a still um, a lot of steps to be taken for improving these lenses because of the main complaints of all the multifocal patients that they complain of the starbursts and the halos around light and the night vision. Uh, and you have to take care also the pupil size. If you have lenses that can overcome the size of the pupil, you cannot do with all these lenses for all pupil size. And uh, also to forgive the centration of the intraocular lens, sometimes you are obliged to put the lens when you have a rent in the posterior capsule. So these lenses should be more forgiving for the decentration. Uh, the WSC this year was uh, very fruitful and uh, being in Barcelona especially with the uh, different um, uh, places to visit and um, the, 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 uh, the conference itself was very rich having different uh, recent technologies for regarding the intraocular lenses, regarding the debates between the FEM2 cataract and the regular cataract regarding the um, intracamera injection of antibiotics, whether to inject or not to inject the clear lens extraction. A lot of uh, subjects had been uh, discussed in the meeting and the lamellar corner surgery, so it was a very fruitful and successful meeting.